with Team Ryban. So in this video, our task today is to create a local web server and a DNS using our topology here. Okay. So we will be installing Apache on Ubuntu and DNS on the Windows server. So I'm just going to note that. Patch. Observer. Then DNS. Server. Okay. As we know, Apache is the most widely used web server around the world. Okay. So for those who aren't familiar with what is a web server is, a web server in general contain one or more websites. So the primary function of a web server is to store, process, and deliver web pages to the clients. So I have ex an example here. Let's go to what.com. So this here is an example of a web server. Okay. So what I just said earlier, the basic objective of a web server is to store, process, and deliver web pages, right? That contains photos, text, and other functionalities. Okay. Right there. Okay. So this simple web page here is made by a high school student for his father that has cancer. Anyways, let's go back to our main objective. I'm just going back to our topology. Okay. We need to install the Apache and our Ubuntu for it to become a web server. Right here. Okay. So Apache powers at least 52% of all websites globally, mostly running on Linux, but you can also run Apache on OS X or the Mac and in Windows, okay? But Windows has its own, if you're familiar with IIS, but anyway, let's get started. So I'm going now to my Ubuntu, here. So I have the IP up. 192.168.100.20 on my Ubuntu. Make sure you have an internet connection. So I'm just going to ping Google. It's replying. Second thing, let's install the application. Okay, app. Install Apache 2. Y, then enter. Wait for it. System CTL start Apache 2. Okay, Apache 2 version 2 of Apache. Start it right away. Check the status. Now active and running. Right now, let's try to browse it. So I'm just going to open a Chrome. Then type here the IP address of our Ubuntu. Another that. Okay, sleep for that. Okay. 
as you can see we cannot browse anything okay what's the reason for that the reason is the firewall is blocking the port 80 or the port for http i'm just going back to our ubuntu let's see the status of our firewall we have w status so it's active i'm just going to disable it you have w disable so i just stop the firewall for the client to access the port 80 and for port okay which is used for http and https okay you see uh the clients cannot view your website unless you open the port 80 or port 3. Okay, but when when you dis disable the firewall, it only means that you opened all the ports. Okay, so if you want to disable or open a specific port, you can do UFW allow 80. Okay, UFW allow proper three then let's try to browse it again so I'm going to open another Chrome type the IP address of our Ubuntu 100.20 okay. you can see that our web page is properly working so what we want to do next is to edit this default home page or to create our own web page okay so you can see here that the default page is in slash bar slash ww slash html and the name of the file is index.html as you can see here we can replace this default home page and create our own okay let's start to configure it now just going back to our ubuntu machine okay. go to the path cd slash bar www.html ls you will see the index at html so the content of this file is this okay let's so just try to edit that nano index that page okay. i'm just going to change this title here let's see my first web page x control x yes enter let's check if it works refresh yeah so it works my first web page it's hard to edit the html file in linux using just a text editor nano the next thing I'm going to do is to edit this web page remotely in my windows. So I'm going to use the NFS service. So if you haven't seen how to do this NFS, I'm going to give the link in the description. Okay, so just watch that video. But I will still show you what I did. Okay, so I'm just going back to my Ubuntu. cat slash etc slash exports okay, you will see here slash bar ww html so i shared this path that contains the web page to my windows okay then i'm just going to change the permission so that the user in windows can access it so chmod 777 
slash or slash www slash html okay i'm just going to open a cmd then mount the shared file or the path one and two, then one sixteen at one hundred and twenty. IP address of our Ubuntu column slash four. And you get new slash HTML. Z column slash. Okay, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. I'm just going to restart then restart NFS dash serve then check the status run then let's mount it again it mounted successfully then it's going to check it right here So here is the index.html from our Ubuntu from the path slash bar www.html So we're inside the folder html and we have index the index file okay. So how about we try to edit it in our notepad plus plus Let's see if you have any other text editors like sublime you can use that as you can see, it's a read-only file, so I cannot just edit it. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do next, I'm just going to change the permission on our Ubuntu. Just go ls then ll. Okay, so others, the others only have a read permission. Okay, only root can write this one. Okay, can edit the file. So I'm just going to search mode again. Seven 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 index that HTML. So other user can add the file. Go back here. You can write now. So what if I'm going to change the background color? Let's try that out. Say blue. Say Refresh works. Okay. So, red. Same. Refresh. It works. Okay. So what I want to do next is to replace this default homepage, okay, with a much complex one. So I have here. A web page that contains the following. Okay. It has CC, CSS, okay, cascading style sheet, fonts, images, and for mail, then it's JavaScript. Okay, just going to copy this, then delete this one, then Paste everything here. Let's try to access access it again. One two that one six two that one hundred. Okay. So here is our new web page. Now that we're done with the web server, okay, just going back to our topology, so we're done with the web server. The next thing that we need to configure is the DNS. Okay, so we're going to configure that DNS in our Windows server.
When we say DNS, it can be the main name server. It's the physical server itself. Okay, the main name system. It's how the DNS works. DNS is one of the most important aspect of the internet. So basically, the DNS builds the internet. Okay. The DNS translate domain names to IP addresses. Okay. So for example, we have here Facebook.com. So Facebook.com is the domain. And what is the IP address associated to it? Okay, let's check. Going to open a CMD. Let us ping Facebook.com. Okay. And here is the IP of Facebook.com. Okay. I'm just going to browse this IP. Then I mean Facebook.com. Okay, as human, it's much easier for us to memorize name rather than memorizing numbers. As the expert says, it is like the phone book of the internet. Remember DPC yellow pages? Okay. Let's say that the names in these books are the domain here and the telephone number is the IP address so for example I'm looking for Ter Parker so for me to contact him I just need to dial his corresponding number Okay. Just like when you browse the internet, you type the domain name and the DNS will translate the name into the IP address associated with it. Once the process is done, you're now connected to the website. Going back to our topology, so here in our topology, our Windows 2016 server will be our DNS server. Okay, This server will contain a database of IP addresses with their associated domain names. So for example, Facebook.com is associated with an IP of 157.32.51.8. Okay, Google.com has an IP of 4.2.2.2. So let's now try to configure it. I'm going to my windows 2016 let's check first the IP address of this windows server Okay, 150. Then primary DNS should be 192.168.100.50 or the IP address of the Windows itself. So it can query its own local database that will contain the domain name that we're going to create later. Remember, we are creating a local DNS. 8.8.8.8. A secondary DNS um, the DNS of Google so it can still query websites in the internet save config click ok and I'm just going to flash the DNS I click on click flash DNS let's install the DNS server in this virtual machine just go to server manager click manage add roles and features next 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 then find the DNS add features next 
next next then install okay so just wait for it it may take a long time okay installation succeeded let's now try to configure our dns so i'm just going to go to dns we create the server okay look for the forward lookup zones then just click here or click here or here new zone okay we're now going to create our domain primary okay then enter a domain of your own so for example private school um, nine dot com. Okay, click next. 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 Then finish. Okay. Okay. So I have now my first domain. So, but I want a domain that will match the web page that we have created earlier. Okay. So I'm just going to create another domain. For example, new zone. Next, next. Let's say my rust nine dot com. Next, next. Then finish. Okay, so I will go in to use this domain. Just double click. Okay. Then we need to apply something here. Okay. First thing that we need new host a record okay so a record maps a domain name to the IP address okay just leave it blank then type here the IP address of our Ubuntu 168 100.20 just check that okay 100.20 so the domain name myrasta9.com will be mapped to the IP address 192.168.100.20 the echoes then we're done okay what we want next is to add a C name okay new alias C name just Put www here. Click browse. Click the server. Forward. Then look for press the nine. Double click. Click. Then okay. AC name records must always point to another domain, never directly to an IP address. It's like creating an alias. Okay. For your main domain, say you have several subdomains like www. This one, myrasta9.com, ftp.rasta9.com, mail.rasta9.com. You want these subdomains to be only pointed to your main domain, okay? Which is rasta9.com. I'm just going to open a CMD here. Okay, try to pin my rest nine.com. Okay. So my rest nine.com has an IP address of 192.168.200.20. Okay. Let's try about www the same okay to say that we accomplish our goal we need to test it so I'm just going to open a browser okay, Firefox then search for www.myras so 
the domain brings you to the IP address that we have here. So the resto9.com and the IP address of 192.168.100.20 Okay, so going back in our topology So in our topology when I search the domain rest9 my rest in this window server it brings me to the Apache okay to the web server that we have okay that's in our Windows Server but what if I search this domain on my real PC let's try it. Okay, let's go into my rest Okay, it doesn't bring me to any website, even in our Ubuntu, here. So what seems to be the problem? I need to change the DNS here in my real PC, in my Windows 10. Okay, in order for me to reach this website. Let's go to network. Let's change this to okay. Let's go to change this to one of you. That one succeed. That twenty. That one hundred. That twenty. Click OK. OK. Go to CMD, type of MP, dash DNS, to delete the cache, enter. Oh, I'm sorry, it should be that 50. Give the IP address of our Windows. That 50. Then okay. Let's reload it. My rest nine. Try to ping. Ping. Okay. okay, so I found the problem. The problem is the firewall is on on our Windows server so I just turned it off okay so when I go back to our real PC and search my rest that right now it works okay about I open the browser my rest Okay, going back in our topology. So since everything is working, so when I search for 
my rusty 9com here in my real PC. It first query its search to the DNS. Okay. Before the DNS translate that domain into an IP address, then your PC will now reach our web server here, okay. the Ubuntu, the website. Okay. So I hope you learned something from this video. Thank you and have a nice day.